Good morning and welcome back to On the Bump, an SP Streamer podcast, now part of the Fantrax Podcast Network and FantraxHQ.com family. It's Sunday, April 11th. I'm your host, Dougie Shikawa. You can follow me on Twitter at Coach Anish. As always, I am joined by my co-host, the best hoodie designer in all the land. He's going to start his own brand here and his own line very, very soon. Very excited. It's Mr. Michael Simeone at SP Streamer. Good morning, Michael. What's up? How you doing? Not bad. That uh, that sweatshirt's amazing. <laughs> you got yours before mine. Oh man, that it's, hoodie and uh, it is a thing of beauty, my yeah. friend. I feel like um, can't get much better than that. It's my wife mi- wants one. I was like, nah. Yeah. Yes, one. everybody deserves one that wants one. I want it to be exclusive though, just me and you, and like maybe we'll give one to like one special person. That's it. All right. Yeah, I like being <laughs> in that club. It's uh, you know, that hoodie is equivalent to like a Joe Musgrove no hitter. Um, just absolutely beautiful things in the world out there. Um, today's Sunday, so we're gonna get into forecasting. Congratulations to Joe Musgrove, you know, from the San Diego mm-hmm. Padres. He finally has kind of uh you know, we've always been talking about Joe Musgrove in these circles, and he finally kind of went out there and proved that against the Rangers uh, Friday night. But today's Sunday. We're going to get into the forecast. Uh, Michael's going to take a look at some teams that you should be streaming against. It sounds like it's just going to be everything Texas Rangers. Let's just stream against them until they decide that they want to hit the baseball. But, Michael, you're the professional. You're the pro. Take me through it. Who are you looking to uh, – to stream against this upcoming week yeah so there are a couple teams struggling um i mean everyone knows the main one which is the brewers they just can't hit the ball uh which is baffling because i feel like they shouldn't be that bad but uh, i mean uh the last seven days they have a 39 wrc plus their swing strike is high um their ops is really low uh they're basically just like a must stream anyone against them um I mean, so there there are like some opportunities coming up. I mean, you got uh, Ponce de Leon going today against him. He should basically dominate them. Um, and then you have who I like a lot on Monday is Alzale goes against them. Mm. Um, so he could get a lot of strikeouts there. So they're definitely one to target. Um, another team that's struggling is the Orioles, um, as we kind of figured would happen. <laughs> um Again, really low in WRC plus category, striking out a lot. Um, they're actually, I think, number one in swing strike percentage. So they're going to, you know, you get a lot of whiffs out of them. Um, and then in terms of splits, I mean, it's tough because it's a little early. That's why I don't really have them in my sheet yet. I'll probably be doing that soon, though. Um, but I mean, right now against lefties, um, you know, who has at least a hundred plate appearances. So if you want to look at, at like lefty right splits, Texas really has been struggling against lefties. So have the giants and so have the Indians um, in terms of, I guess, let's look at righties too. Uh, you got the Cubs struggling, Baltimore struggling, Milwaukee, obviously uh, Colorado, obviously on the road, you always want to take advantage of, of them as well. Forgot to mention that. Um, teams that are killing lefties right now are the Houston Astros. Do not stream a lefty against them. They have a 173 WRC plus against them with a Wobo 416, and that's almost 200 plate appearances too. So they've seen a lot of lefties, and they've been killing them. So do not stream lefty against that Houston Astros. Yeah, and also with like the Brewers, uh, looking at them, Colton Wong, uh, the other day went on the IL, so there goes the table setter. Mm. Kristen Yelich is struggling as well. So looking at some teams, uh, the, the, obviously the Rangers, the Orioles, um, as well as the Brewers are three right off the bat that you're looking at. If you want to dive more into the splits, you can always check out Michael's. Uh, he has it up on the, on the, on the Google and he also will tweet it out to you and tell you where you can be connected and so that you can take a little bit of uh, time taking a look at the forecaster as well. Uh, Michael, anything else that we missed before we get to the uh, the daily read here? Um, yeah, I mean, I mentioned Alzale. I really like him for Monday. Uh, so it's obviously going to be a two-start week for him. Um, crap. Who's he going against? Second, hold on. <laughs> I, uh, I like I, it just like hit me. I always forget <laughs> to do these and people like I feel bad, too, because a lot of people ask me like literally every week. They're like, hey, can you do like two, uh, you know, pitchers who have two starts in a week? And I never think to do it. Um, so I got to I got to start getting on that again. But anyway, so they get the Brewers and the if I can find the Cubs here. Um 
I guess I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> um oh so the, the uh let me get the braves yeah eh, i don't know i would still do it for that first start but um yeah i mean i like alzale a lot um i mean i know there's a lot of jake arietta lovers out there um he does now get set up with against the brewers what a great schedule for him too against the pit and now he's going to go against the brewers so that's a decent option there too um, it's, it's a little tough to kind of forecast right now. I feel like things are really, um, shifting, but another picture I would say too, is, uh, Scooble actually gets the athletics and you would think, you know, the athletics are good, but they've actually been struggling, um, as of late right now too. They actually are kind of a good matchup. I mean, they only have a 60 WRC plus. They don't really have good OPS. I know Matt Chapman struggling. Um, Olsen's been struggling. So that might be someone to keep an eye on too coming up for next week. Another name that I heard, and maybe you can, uh, you know, shed some light on it. Wade Miley is Wade Miley a uh, considered to be an okay two start pitcher? I know he's got the Giants coming up on Monday, and I believe maybe Cleveland coming up in the next couple of days as well. Would you consider throwing Wade Miley this week as well? Yeah, Miley's an interesting. Um, you know, he was terrible last year. Um, and like you said, I mean, yeah, he gets the Giants who have been struggling, and he's going to San Francisco, so that's mm-hmm. a good spot. And then, like you said, the, he he does play Cleveland. Um, so, yeah, that's that's a good call there, Doug. Oh, okay. Look great. at you contributing. I contribute here you every once in a while, you know, to clear up the dead <laughs> air when Michael is searching for stuff. Um, you know, when the mouse clicks, I know that Michael's searching stuff, so there you go. But, you know, before we get out of here today, make sure that you go and get your daily read on Ryan Levis. He put up a good one on the SPStreamer.com site. Gary Sanchez isn't fixed. I know everybody's really excited about Gary Sanchez as of late. Uh, Ryan is going to squash all of those hopes and dreams for you. So go make sure to get that read on and throw Ryan a follow. He's at RJL, all capitals, breakdowns. And he's been doing that for us. He's going to be breaking down uh, mechanics for hitters and taking a look at stuff. He's a, he's a great follow. So make sure that you go and, and hit him up on the Twitter. And as always, if you're listening on a platform that allows you to rate, review, or share, so it would be greatly appreciated as that's our show for today. Michael, great job. When your hoodie comes in, are we taking a new oh, picture? It's in. Oh, it's, it's in. in. I okay. got it in yesterday. Don't worry. Picture okay. already has been taken. Something will be posted later. All right. We're going to post something <laughs> up very quickly. If you want to join the exclusive hoodie club of the SP Streamer team, uh, make sure that you tweet at us. Maybe we do a giveaway once in a while here. But for today, um, that's Michael Simeone. I'm Doug Ishikawa. Hope to hope that you have a great Sunday, everyone. We'll be back here with you Wednesday with our Observer Report for On the Bump. But in the meantime, take care, stay safe, and we will see you soon.